first. She called them the best years of her life. A young Israeli woman caused an uproar when she posted pictures of her military service on Facebook. Some of them show her posing next to blindfolded Palestinian prisoners. Well, the snapshots were met with outrage, but human rights groups say such abuse is in fact commonplace. Our correspondent Gallagher Fenwick reports from Israel. A word of warning, explicit footage may shock some of our viewers. Three Israeli soldiers posing for the camera in front of the body of a dead Palestinian man in Gaza. These are the types of pictures that the Israeli NGO Breaking the Silence has been trying to bring to the world's attention since 2004. If somebody was to do a, a serious check, um, then they'd come to you quite a lot of, uh, quite a lot of these pictures, I think. I mean, you have, uh, you have these, and this is very, very common. These are, these are uh, soldiers who, who ended up also speaking to Breaking the Silence, so these are our sources. Michael, like other members of this NGO, formerly served in the Israeli army. He was bewildered by the fact that the Facebook pictures came to many as a surprise. He says he's seen dozens of similar photographs over the past couple years, taken by soldiers who consider it to be a normal thing to do. I served as, a, as an officer in the, in the infantry a couple of years back, and seeing a blindfolded and handcuffed Palestinian is like seeing people on the street. It's something which is so common. It's so part of your life in the territories that... Um, that taking a picture with that sort of backdrop and, I, and purposely being blunt is, is, is something which isn't, which isn't that odd. That's not what the Israeli army says. Captain Shalikar contends that this was an isolated occurrence which should not be blown out of proportion. But there's no formal denying that there may be other pictures out there. I'm sure that the IDF is uh, taking a look into all the pictures, all the cases and there will be an appropriate answer in the future. On the streets of Jerusalem, most people condemn the pictures and those who took them. These young Israelis finished their mandatory military service a couple of years ago. Kfir Daniel Nadav and Asaf don't mince their words when it comes to describing the young soldier who posted the controversial pictures. I don't think she understood what she was doing. You can tell from the way she expresses herself that she's not that clever. I know that my soldiers, my friends, none of anybody did that, even if they wanted to or if they didn't want, nobody ever did that. So it doesn't reflect the whole Israeli army, just that one girl. For the moment, no sanctions have been taken against the former soldier who was discharged last year. But the Israeli army has warned its personnel that these kinds of leaks will no longer be tolerated.